Hey everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online video. Today we're going to go in depth on the new HVY Menacer that was added into GTA Online this week. The Menacer will cost you about 1.8 million dollars to purchase. This vehicle has a lot of customization options. I was shocked on how many visual options there were for a weaponized vehicle. There's bumpers, hood options, roof options, side skirts, different liveries to choose from, and of course you can change the gun on top from a 50 cal machine gun to a 50 cal minigun. It's a carbon copy of what you see on the Insurgent Pickup Custom, nothing really special about it. Oh, and you can change the stock rim color using the iFruit trick. Link to a tutorial of how to do that will be in the description. It also has front facing machine guns. I was hoping maybe they would be as good as the Strombergs, but sadly they are just like the Night Sharks machine guns. They're pea shooters, nothing else. You aren't going to be taking out player vehicles with the front mounted machine guns. I really don't know why Rockstar keeps adding these machine guns onto vehicles. They don't even do optimal damage. You're way better off using your own weapon from behind the wheel. The Menacer is armored and does have explosive resistance. If you want to destroy it with a player inside, it's going to take you 8 RPGs or 23 homing rockets, which is a little bit weaker than the Insurgent and the Night Shark. Those vehicles take 9 RPGs or 28 homing missiles to destroy. I guess that's the trade-off for having both a turret seat and useless front-mounted machine guns. The windows will offer you no protection. One shot will penetrate the window and hit anyone inside. It would have made sense if the windows were semi-bulletproof, like on the Terabyte and the MOC, just to give the vehicle something to make it stand out from the Insurgent. Lastly, we have the performance test against the Night Shark and the Insurgent Pickup Custom, the Menacer's two competitors, and it's actually slower than both of them, both in acceleration and in top speed, which means that this vehicle really has no good qualities to make it a viable purchase. The Menacer tries to be a hybrid between the Insurgent Pickup Custom and the Night Shark, except it tries so hard to be like both of them that it is terrible at being either one of them. Not only is its armor worse than the Night Shark, but it's also way slower and bigger than the Night Shark. Comparing it to the Insurgent, it doesn't offer the same protections to the gunner, the armor is of course worse than the Insurgent, and it cannot be fitted with proximity mines, and if that wasn't bad enough, it can't even keep up with the Insurgent. I would just give this vehicle a pass unless you really like the look of it. Personally, I think with this livery that I have on, it looks okay. But in terms of free mode uses, there's never going to be a situation where you're like, oh, the Menacer will be perfect for this situation, because the Insurgent and Night Shark would do the same job, but way better. Anyways guys, that is going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. I know this was a pretty short video, the vehicle is pretty bare bones in terms of its abilities, so there's really not much to go over, but I still wanted to make a video to let you guys know that it's really not worth it. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.